Uh, hello again. Uh, today I'd like to uh, discuss the properties of propane. Propane is C3, carbon and black, white is hydrogen, C3H10. And um, I have in here a propane tank. And propane is a gas at room temperature. Um, it's um, at room temperature in one atmosphere, I should say. But uh, of course, it's in a closed container. So the uh, propane in here is liquid at the bottom and gas at the top. And you can kind of hear it sloshing around. It, it's it's uh, um, at a high pressure. Its vapor pressure is about uh, 12 or 13 atmospheres. I think it's 13 atmospheres. Um, so the, the, the gaseous part is very dense. And so there's not a big difference in, in the density of the gas and the liquid, so it doesn't slash around like water would slash around in a Coke bottle. Okay, so since it's uh, got a high vapor pressure, if I open the valve, you can hear the gas come out. And um, I have here a, uh, the end of this has uh, these little holes here to let air in, so that when you burn it, it will be nicely mixed with air, so let's let's uh, let's do that. And to use butane to light. It. Maybe I can just it too high. There we go. Oops. Okay, I think you can see the gas. And, uh, turn it down a little bit. So it's, it's burning with a nice, a nice flame. A very uh, complete combustion. Propane plus carbon dioxide. Uh, <laughs> propane plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide and water, and you can actually nicely capture the the water vapor that condenses. Now, um, if you were to uh, cover up these holes, you can see that it has a much more sooty flame because it's not getting as much oxygen. Okay? So, um, this is a nice portable fuel. Um, it, uh, you can uh, use it. It's obviously used in uh, in grilling and that kind of thing. Uh, it's a very exothermic reaction, produces a lot of heat, and uh, as again, carbon dioxide and water. And it can be used in welding and that kind of thing as well. So uh, again, you can see the, the water vapor that has condensed there to demonstrate that when the hydrocarbons burn, they produce carbon dioxide and gaseous water, but uh, the water can be cooled and, and and cause to liquefy. So uh, in the next clip, I'm going to show you what happens if you um, take, remove the, the top here and, and allow the liquid propane to come out and what it looks like. And of course, the, the liquid is going to uh, start boiling right away. The, the boiling point of propane at one atmospheric pressure is uh, minus 42 degrees Celsius. So uh, uh, it's going to cool down very quickly, and uh, you'll see it boiling, and uh, we'll do that in the next clip. Okay, as I said before, propane is a uh, gas at room temperature and one atmosphere pressure. And, the, and just to review, in this tank, we have liquid propane at the bottom and gaseous at the top. Uh, the vapor pressure of propane at room temperature is about 12 atmospheres, so... Uh, I've removed a little cap and a little screw up here. I'm going to show you how you can uh, get the liquid propane into the container. Now again, don't try this at home. I'm doing this outside because the propane has a gas that makes it smell. Now, it's, it's very cold. It's actually boiling. I think you could see the liquid in there. 
And because it's so cold, it is um, causing the water in the atmosphere. We're in Florida here, and the humidity is a little high. The water in the atmosphere to condense, but it's boiling there. Uh, there's the liquid propane you see, and the vapors are coming off as we speak. So this is about just 42 degrees. Now it's just at room temperature in here, but uh, once you uh, let the liquid out, it uh, very rapidly uh, boils and, and cools down until it reaches its normal boiling point of minus 42 degrees uh, Celsius. And so this will slowly but surely uh, boil off. And I could smell there's something in there uh, added so that if you had a propane leak, you would know that you did, just as a natural gas uh, has a, um, and we're capped in, I guess it is, uh, in there. So I hope uh, none of you uh, students who are watching this will try this. Please be, don't, don't do this. Uh, you need supervision of a, a chemistry teacher to do this kind of thing. You can see when I put it on the near the hot sides, it very rapidly evaporates. Okay, thank you.